are we all? I hope you are all well. Welcome back to another vlog. And this vlog was supposed to be like a 24 hour vlog, like a whole day vlog, but I'm not gonna lie. It's five past two right now. <laughs> um, but you really, really haven't missed much because I've basically been sat in my office editing an edited life. That's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm like knee deep in that. There'll be like another book update vlog coming soon when we've sort of gone through the next stage, which I'm hoping will have all the design process in it as well. So that'll probably be coming up sometime in October. But right now, that's where I'm at. My editor has come back with edits and I'm having to make them all. And it's really exciting, but very nerve wracking because I just want to get it right. It's like the last time that I can make big chunky edits on the book so I'm really taking the time to like mull over it make sure that the text is right the lists are right everything that I want to say in there is there but it's not overwhelming it's like finding that balance between everything and yeah that's that's where my brain is at right now I'm not even doing blog posts this week so I'm going to take the time off a blog post put all of my word vomit writing into the book so yeah that's very exciting very time consuming I've literally just sat in the other room from about half six this morning with the May Lindstrom honey mud on my face. <laughs> but you know what, might as well like mask if I'm gonna be sitting here for a couple of hours. And if you've got that mask, just leave it on your face for a couple of hours. Your face feels glorious when you take it off. Also apologies if I'm getting a bit distracted during this intro bit, but there is a guy over the road, a builder over the road, um, basically having a Diet Coke moment right now. Like he is wearing a white vest top and everything. And it's freezing out there. It's so cold, you must be so cold. There is a reason I have no makeup on my face. There is a reason why I've spent the whole morning, a part of the afternoon with a mask on to try and get like the most glow out of my skin that I can get. And that is because this video is sponsored by Smashbox and Lily and I are doing something very different today, something that we have never done before. I'm gonna talk you through the setup of what we've got going on tonight, because I just cannot wait. <laughs> this is actually one of the nicest like brand collaborations that I feel like Lily and I have ever done. We went in and met Smashbox at their lovely, lovely offices, oh my word, it was so nice. And they wanted to do a meet up with us. And we were like, cool, that sounds really fun. Where should we hold it? What should we do? How many people are you thinking? And we went back and forth on that. And then collaboratively, we came up with this idea. I don't even know who came up with it. I feel like it was probably Lily. She comes up with all the good ideas. She's a genius of those sorts of things. She's like, how about we do like a get ready with us? live situation. So a very small event, there's only gonna be 12 people there tonight. We're all gonna be sitting there around a big table that's full of makeup, mirrors, and we're basically gonna be taken through a masterclass by an amazing Smashbox makeup artist. I've met her before, she is great. And she's just gonna talk us through this look and we're all gonna do it together. I just think it's such a nice idea and it'll be such a lovely way of meeting people, getting to know people. They get to go home with like a massive bag of Smashbox makeup, I'm like, win girls so yeah i thought it'd be really nice to share i'm kind of ready to go actually i will show you my outfit before i leave hair kind of yeah that will have to do and like i said makeup when we're there um i do want to show you some book stuff wait wait i'm always being asked what i'm currently reading um so last night i finished a book i'll show you it in a minute so i haven't started reading this yet but it's sally rooney normal people i have heard very 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 good things about this book and um, yeah I can't wait it's a lot shorter than the book that I've just read so I feel like this could be quite a quick and speedy read which is nice and then I bought this as well the life honestly strong opinions from smart women by the pool um it doesn't really come up on camera but this is the most glorious color of book that I've ever seen it's this like neon peach which is gorgeous and it's loads of different essays from the writers of the pool i love the pool yay for cool women doing cool shit and also it's got essays by dolly alderton in here and you guys know that i absolutely love her that's very exciting this is the one that i finished yesterday um white teeth by zadie smith oh my word what a book i basically read like the last half almost in two days it's a chunky book it's like 500 and something pages and the text is tiny, but it's probably, actually I would say it is first place. It's my favorite book that I've read this year. It is a story of three families over multiple generations and how they all intertwine is so clever, like just so cleverly done. Um, it's a story of like cultures, religion, growing up, friendships, relationships, all that kind of stuff. And it's just so 
beautiful. Like I found myself going, <gasps> when I read some sentences. It's not flowery, it's very easy to read, but the way that Zadie writes is just utterly beautiful. Like you know those type of sentences that you read and you're like, oh my God, I would have loved to have thought of that sentence. It's packed full of those. It's such a clever, beautiful, beautiful book. Yeah, my favorite book that I've read this year. That's high praise. Okay, so I've got an hour-ish before I need to leave. So this is where I'm going to be. This is my little spot. I did change my screensaver. How labor is that? Uh, currently editing the how to have a social life that works for you chapter, which is basically a chapter about why it's completely cool to say no sometimes and also like how your social life changes when you grow up, how you can find time for it without it being a stressful thing. So it's one of the shorter chapters. This one is 3,200-ish words. The one that I did this morning that was about self-care was 12,000 <laughs> words. I was like, whoop, that, uh, yeah. I so said that was quite a good editing section. Um, it was quite a small chapter compared to other things and there wasn't actually too much that needed changing because that was my second time looking over that piece. So I was like, hey, cool, 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 couple of things to change. And then I had a moment where I was like, oh, I'm gonna make that into a, what's it called? Flow chart, um, when you should say no. So it's gonna be a flow chart if you need me to be a magic eight ball uh, and know when to say no in certain social situations, for like events and all those sorts of things. I got a little handy uh, flow chart guide. So um, I will write that up on the train, get that added in, and then yeah. Time to head out. I will show you the makeup that we're gonna use. I will show you my outfit. Okay, so here's everything that we're gonna be using tonight. Um, the Smashbox primerizer, obviously. Um, I was introduced to this back in, probably like last November time by Alana, who is like the biggest fan, and I am right up there with her. This is my second bottle. I think it's like halfway used, <laughs> but it's such a great hydrating primer that's basically a moisturizer and a primer in one. So, so good if you're dehydrated like a raisin, like I am. Then we're using the Studio Skin Hydrating Foundation, all about that dewiness. I did like a live makeup demo where a makeup artist used this on me recently and I was so, so impressed by the fact it's got coverage, but it's really nice and like glowy at the same time. Then we have the Studio Skin Concealer. This palette, sorry, a bit dirty. This is called the Cali Contour Palette. And we thought this was a really good one because it has like different shades in, people can use the highlighters. And this is actually a blush that I guess, it gets a thumbs up from me. Look at that blush. That is like perfect tawny pink right there. Oh, for eyes, I took this to Madrid with me actually. This is the Ablaze Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette. I'm super into the one on the left-hand side, very glowy, champagne-y on the eyes. Then we've got a brow pencil, an eyeliner. Um, this is the super fan fanned out mascara. And again, this is something they used in that masterclass and I was like, oh no, I only use waterproof mascaras. I'm not sure about this. Have to say this actually held up my lashes really, really well. I was very impressed with this. This is like one mascara that Lily and I both agree on. And I think for lips, there's just a couple of nudes here. My favorite one is this one, which is called Famous. I mentioned this in my last monthly favorites. Such a good like summery peachy pink, but I think we're gonna let people just like decide on their own nude. It's a very personal thing depending on your skin tone, what kind of finish you want. So some kind of nude to go with this very like warm bronzy look. Seeing as my outfit is quite plain for tonight, I thought I would jazz it up with the Topshop snakeskin boots. Pleased to see that a lot of you are on board with these. Uh, Mark isn't the biggest fan. I kind of don't blame him. They are a bit, I mean, look. <laughs> I'm gonna test them out today and see if they're comfortable. I haven't really given them like a long wear test yet. I just sort of, I mean, I wore them like to a restaurant and back and we got a taxi there and a taxi back. So um, I'm walking to the station. I'm walking to the um, the Smashbox studio on Mortimer Street, oh, which is where the event is. I'm not sure I said that. And then I'll be doing exactly the same on the way back. So these bad boys are gonna get a real test out today. I'm not sure what coat to wear. Um, I did just put this on. I was like, maybe I could do like a, uh, a double animal print situation, but I feel like maybe leopard print and snake skin is just a bit too much for me right now. I could do my whistles tan one. All of a sudden it's like snapped into a very chilly autumn weather. Ooh, okay, let me just check in the mirror. This could work. Um, I'm just gonna see maybe my leather jacket. I feel like this could be the cool option, but I'm not sure it's gonna be warm enough. Just gonna doubly make sure it doesn't look better with the blazer. It might look better with the blazer, you know, a bit more like, ooh, hello. Oh 
no, blazer is cute as well. People who say if you have a capsule wardrobe that you know you don't have anything to wear and you stand there and you like don't have anything to wear, look at that. After a solid four years of doing it, I finally got to a place where I'm like, oh, I've got, I've got too many options. That's what's stopping me from getting ready now. Not that I haven't got enough. I'm probably gonna take like my massive Saint Laurent bag with me because I think I'm gonna take my laptop so that I can do stuff on the train and do some editing on the train. The blazer is from a brand called AYR. They're sold in New York. Picked it up spring last year and I just think it's a very nice like long line blazer but Jigs will do a very similar one. I'll link any dupes down below. Underneath I've got the Cezanne Boy silk shirt, a great quality silk shirt for a really good price. They often have them in other colours. I'll link that down below for you. The Topshop Raw Hem straight leg jeans. Um, these are a slightly newer pair that I've got so they're quite nice and tight and they haven't got too much stretch in yet. A little bit of stretch but not too much so they've got a nice shape to them. And then obviously the Topshop snakeskin cowboy boots. Please, 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 please be comfortable. <laughs> We're here at the Smashbox studio. Look at it, what are you doing, Lily? I'm just, I'm just picking my brushes. <laughs> We've got brushes here for everyone. They're each gonna have their little station. We've got our bits over here. I'm very excited. Everyone's getting their products. Everyone's got color match. And then we're gonna like do our makeup together. And all our products. And everyone gets to take them home. Can I just say, this is a great event that we made up. I know, I said- We made a meeting, you were like, get ready with us. Oh, is it me? Yes. And we were like, <laughs> Earlier in the video, I was like, I'm sure it was Lily, she comes up with all the good ideas. No, I'm pretty sure it was you. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> They sent me a water bottle that had a Virgo. Oh, you can't really see. There you go, a Virgo sign on it. <laughs> they thought it was really funny. I think it's very funny too. Um, that train was just, oh, that train was just so full of love. A guy asked me about my snakeskin boots. He asked me where they were from, how much they were. He said, oh, if you don't mind me asking, how much were they? When did you buy them? I want to buy them for my girlfriend. I think they're really cool. I was like, thanks. Other guy went to the loo and was like, oh, do you mind like looking after my things, making sure no one steals them? Not a problem. Came back. He was so chuffed that I hadn't stolen his beer. Then he gets chatting to the guy in front of him about beer. He gives him one of his beers and they just spend the rest of the time chatting. It was so nice. It was like, oh, good train vibes. Um, that was honestly so, so nice just to have like one-on-one -on -one time with 12 of you and everyone who came. The feedback was amazing. You said that you really enjoyed it. Um, Smashbox did me a birthday cake. I was so surprised. I thought it was the girl that we were talking to. I thought it was her birthday. So I was like, oh, happy birthday. They're like, no, it's for you. And they gave me a massive piece of rainbow cake, which was lovely. Gave it to a guy on the way home. So hopefully he enjoys it. Bon Appetit's um, Brad Leone, me and Mark are obsessed with him. The It's Alive series um, is just, I, I personally think one of the best things on YouTube brilliant isn't it it's so good mark and i now talk to each other like brad and Vinny. we're obsessed with it he's so funny the editing is amazing and he makes fermented goods he makes fermented garlic honey like i don't think i went overboard with the honey though i don't know it's, it? it's good though how much garlic is in there three three bulbs okay and raw honey yeah last time we didn't use raw honey and it just didn't really work Wait. um me yeah. oh yeah me sorry it was me not mark he obviously did it properly and he even bought a fermentation grade jar which brad said is very important and i <laughs> didn't, have that either. didn't have that either oops um and we're gonna burp it once a day and we'll see what happens we're very excited to ferment our garlic um but that is it i feel like it's oh it's 10 to 10 it's time for bed thank you for watching thank you to smashbox thank you to everybody who came that was awesome and i will see you on sunday the brand new video bye